Let's talk about meniscus tears. You hear about people having a cartilage tear in their knee. Well, unfortunately, the anatomist from way back in the 15th century named a lot of structures cartilage. There's a special kind of vascularized cartilage in your ear called a fibrocartilage. The meniscus in the knee as a shock absorber is a different kind of fibrocartilage but similar. The joint is covered with a kind of cartilage called hyaline cartilage. Your ribs have a different kind of cartilage as well. I think you get the point. We're not going to call a cartilage tear a cartilage tear. We're going to call it a meniscus tear. The meniscus is the shock absorber in the knee. There's a lot of different kinds of meniscus tears. There's a parrot beak tear which catches in the joint, usually needs to be removed, surgically of course with arthroscopy. There's a flap tear which also usually needs to be removed because they hurt and they pinch. There's bucket handle tears which lock up in the joint and they certainly need to be removed as well. But there are some kinds of radial tears that sometimes can be treated non-operatively. If they're torn on the top of the meniscus, it's a little cheese grater in the joint which damages the joint surface. You'll notice I didn't call that cartilage, even though it is a kind of cartilage, we're going to call that joint surface. But if the meniscus is torn up underneath the meniscus, called an undersurface tear of the meniscus, those can frequently be treated non-operatively with a steroid injection, some anti-inflammatories, tincture of time, and sometimes we can actually get it to heal with platelet-rich plasma therapy. So not all meniscus tears are created equal and not all of them need surgery just to quieten down. Now some meniscus tears are actually degenerative. That means they're part of the arthritis process. Going in and removing those menisci can actually accelerate the arthritis in the joint. So those are things we want to avoid. Let me see if I can show that to you graphically. Here is a model of a right knee. If I remove or lower the kneecap, you will see inside the joint is the joint surface of the femur or thigh bone, which is a kind of cartilage, but in order to reduce confusion, let's call it joint surface. Now deep in the joint, here is the anterior cruciate ligament, which you'll hear about football players and other athletes tearing. It's important to control the excursion or the laxity, if you will, of the knee joint. But these little soft structures in here are the menisci. Now this is what people call a cartilage tear, but we're going to call it the shock absorber or the meniscus. Now if you look deep in the joint here, if this meniscus tears in a fashion that a piece of it gets caught up in the joint, that would be a bucket handle tear. If it splits way out to the side, that would be called a radial tear and those hurt. If it splits a piece off, that's called a parrot beak tear and it gets caught in the joint with motion and hurts. But any of those tears, if they occur on the top of the meniscus, they actually scratch the joint surface and can accelerate arthritic changes. But if the tear is up underneath the meniscus, like so, because this meniscus is normally tightly bound to the lower leg bone, it doesn't move over that lower leg bone called the tibia very much and doesn't do much damage. So if we can get the pain to go away from that undersurface tear, they don't always require surgery.